Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick guide, um, sort of like a reminder, a refresher about how you actually gear in Dragonflight. Um, there's three main ways. And the first main way, and I think is the best way, and it's basically the only way I've been getting gear right now, is through Mythics. Um, I know it might seem a little bit daunting, uh, but they're actually really easy. Uh, worst case scenario is that um, somebody um, leaves, and that could be kind of a bummer um, because you only you could redo the dungeon again, but you won't get credit for the bosses you've already killed. Um, but yeah, you know that's kind of out of your control. I mean, best case scenario is you like join a guild. And, you know, just play, or just play with your friends. But, you know, I've had pretty good luck. Um, another quick thing is uh, down here, Shift-J, or this thing that looks like a skull. You can actually go to dungeons right here. And you can look at all of the mechanics for every dungeon. So, so you don't go in completely blind. So, say when you use LFG and you want to do Academy, you just take a look in here. And click on the boss, and it literally shows, depending on what role you are, healer, tank, it'll tell you exactly what you need to do, what you need to look out for. Uh, so definitely, uh, Mythic Dungeons, you can only do one once a week. So each Mythic Dungeon you can complete once. And in average, I think uh, I did all eight dungeons, and I think uh, literally seven of eight, I got, um, I got gear. And that's literally the only way... Outside of PvP, this is just for PvE gear. Uh, you don't really want to use PvE gear in PvP. But yeah, I see I got some trinkets. These things were cool. Got a new weapon. You know, it's a big boost in damage. Uh, the second way is you can actually get epics through rare, rare spawns. I will leave a link to the Wowhead um, article about where they spawn. Some of them require some certain... Um, Requ require some things you need to do to trigger them like i know one of them only spawns after the uh the keep world quest like sometimes you need to complete a world quest and it'll spawn um but yeah i i know a good amount of people because every one of those rare spawns you can literally kill once a day and there are ones that have a chance to drop like three over 372 gear like epic yeah i think maybe some might even be 382 uh yeah so that's the second way and it's really viable like i think that's kind of cool that they're making it you know they're making multiple ways to gear up and the third most viable way is from crafting i haven't gone too crazy in depth with crafting uh but it's really easy if you haven't noticed like say you have blacksmithing or um herbalism uh the nodes are now um are now character specific like you don't have to fight over nodes anymore like you have your own like private resource which is really cool and 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 from what i've seen a lot of the resources are like pretty cheap on the auction house like it's just the time it takes you know to go through the menus and craft but um yeah the epics you make from crafting are really good um if you have the um mats as well you could just fly right down here it shows as a hammer and this is where you do work orders. And if you grind all of those crazy mats, as you see, so let's take a look. Let's just take a look at 200 swords, for instance. You can see this is a 382 weapon. And you see, I almost, I, well, I don't almost have enough. But you can see, if you do grind out these mats, you could get the work order done. And it, it's, a, it's a low price. They mostly get the, the level up out of it. They'll get their profession level up. But you'll get the item. So you see, the professions is really worth it right now. Um, I don't know how worth it's it's gonna be when the raid and Mythic Plus starts out. I'm not sure. I don't know the eye level. But yeah, it's really easy. Um, definitely, if you haven't done your Mythic Zeros, I would say definitely give it a shot. I mean, just press I, pre-made groups, dungeons, find a group, or you can start one and just try to fill the role. Um, you might get declined. I mean, I don't know. People are weird. <laughs> Maybe they only want people that are like 360 eye level. But uh, you could easily, I would say bare minimum is like 340. Like you could easily be doing mythics when you're 340 eye level. Like I was, I was like 338 
and I was doing mythics. They're really easy. Um, some are a couple tr are a little bit tricky. Um, Ruby Lifeful's fi final boss maybe is a little bit tricky. Uh, all the other ones are really simple though. The final boss on uh, Ruby Life Fools that I remember was a little bit tricky. I mean, I could see Pugs having a problem there. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Um, like and subscribe for more videos. Going to try to pump out more guides. Look out for guitar guides coming. And yeah, have a happy new year.